Hey everyone, this is Zach with Sweet CG. Uh, we've got a new long overdue but uh, brief update video for you to show you what we've been working on. Um, we have uh, we've started working on a new feature with uh, Nutex NDI protocol. If you don't know what that is, uh, give it a look and uh, look it up. Or go to Nutex site and find out about it. It's pretty cool. Um, so we are we are taking that route to to do some stuff. Uh, mainly uh, with NDI, uh, with multi-sport scoreboard uh, and, and Sweet CG, our intent is to create a project editor where you'll be able to create your own projects uh, for, for graphics purposes, so you don't need a third-party CG uh, for generating graphics. Uh, that's a ways off. Uh, so what we wanted to do was kind of have a, a, a real basic option uh, for for you guys to uh, generate graphics straight out of the multi-sport scoreboard uh, module. And when I say basic, um, it's it's really not. It's there's a lot to it. Um, for what for what, when you hear the word basic, you think uh, okay, bare bones. But uh, as you'll see here, uh, we're we're packing this full of a lot of features that uh, that you're not going to find just anywhere for uh, uh, for uh, the, the price you're going to be paying for this. So, um, what we have here, um, it was, so the first release will have the basic score bug, um, without the ability to import your own projects. Uh, and then as the project editor comes along, uh, you'll be able to still use the basic score bug, but then you would also be able to have the option to import projects. So what I have right here, um, uh, I'm going to, I'm going to show you the, the score bug here. Well, actually, I'll show you the, the matchup graphic first. We have uh, five basic graphics here. We've got matchup, keys to the game for both teams, uh, lower third score, and then the score bug. So I'm going to show the matchup here. And what you're going to see here is you can see it up here in this window. This is our user interface uh, NDI monitor, I guess you could say, uh, so that the operator can see what graphic is going out. Uh, but you're actually seeing in the recording here uh, through my TriCaster, I'm sending both the NDI feed uh, from SweetCG as well as uh, using their NDI scan converter to send uh, the entire desktop over to the TriCaster and then uh, actually bringing it back into my main computer with uh, NDI video monitor. So what you're seeing in the background is the user interface and then what you're seeing in the foreground is the SweetCG multi-sport scoreboard basic scoreboard NDI feed layered over it as a uh, downstream key. So we've got the graphic here. Uh, keep an eye out for uh, pop culture references in this video, by the way. Um, probably already have seen a couple of them. Um, but we've got the, so we've got the matchup graphic here. These graphics here, the logos, uh, the team names and stuff, that's all um, editable uh, from um, from here, so you can see. Um, oh, whoops! That's why that didn't change. We got the mascot there. So I took the S out of Tigers. You see now it only says Tiger. So the other thing here with the the team color, uh, we don't have this feature implemented yet. There's a couple of features you'll see uh, through this that that we don't have uh, quite uh, finished up yet, but we're far enough along where I felt comfortable showing you this. Um, once the, the color picker is implemented here and you can select a color, um, that is going to uh, change the coloring of these of the shaded here. And that'll do that on all the different pages. You'll, you'll see we've got uh, uh, team colors and logos uh, all over the place here. Um, so uh, we'll just get to it. So you start your, your game with the, the matchup graphic. You've got all this stuff. All of that's coming from here as well, the venue, uh, the keys to the game all that stuff. So um, to change graphics, you can either click the button on the screen to make it go away, um, or uh, you can just s select the next graphic you want, click it, and it'll fade the old one out and the new one in. So we've got the keys to the game here uh, for the uh, home team. And then uh, you can go straight into, uh, well, and then the, the team name here that's being provided dynamically and all these bullet points are being provided dynamically here. So uh, then you can go over to the uh, visiting team keys to the game 
and then uh, we can, uh, before we go to the score bug, I'll just show you the, the lower third graphic here. So the lower third score is something for uh, going out to a commercial, during timeouts, halftime, things like that, um, or final graphic, final score. Um, and this will show you the, the timeouts left, the fourth quarter, or what quarter it is, the clock, uh, again, the logos, all the coloring, that's all dynamic information. Uh, so you change it once on your team tab, and all that stuff gets changed on every graphic. All right, let's get to the score bug, because that's what everyone wants to know about. Um, when you show the score bug, you see all of these other buttons show up. So what that uh, allows us to do then is animate certain elements um, once the score bug is visible. So we have a few elements here that are not part of the score bug per se. Um, um, well, really just the sponsors are. So you can show sponsors, uh, and that'll show up here. And um, while we don't have it here in the, the UI yet, uh, you're going to be able to see a list of your sponsors here. And you're going to be able to select a specific sponsor to show, or you'll be able to start a rotation. And that will rotate up there, or whatever is live um, is going to be, uh, whatever your live sponsor is, is going to be what shows up in this uh, this uh, little bug here. Um, and then you can make that go away as well. And then we have this uh, marquee that's going to show up, um, and that can be uh, for dynamic information, again, a rotation type of um, display. Uh, in our previous uh, behind the scenes video, we talked about these line lists in, in very uh, brief passing, uh, but you'll be able to load in uh, a list of information and select that stuff from here. Um, and then you can play it or uh, pause it or don't play it at all and just, just select the one you want. Um, whatever is live there is going to be what shows live there. Uh, and then there's there's also a custom text field that we'll have here um, that when you click this, and notice when I click this, watch what happens with line one, and notice it kind of animates up, and then the new, uh, the new tab uh, animates down. Um, that would be something uh, for any specific piece of information that you want. Um, I just put holiday tournament here, so if you wanted to do something in a, in a game that's... Uh, you have a title sponsor that you want to be present during the entire game, uh, the Acme Company, uh, Tip Off Classic, or whatever. Um, you can do that, and then that'll be easy to change through through a little field here in the user interface. And then you can you can go back and forth between these different guys, um, and it'll animate uh, all that stuff for you. Um, also, we have uh, with the broadcast team here. This is a cool little feature. This is actually going to have tabs on on both the top and bottom. Uh, so you got the broadcast team there. And this is a timed piece. So you click it once uh, and it goes, I think it's seven seconds. And then it goes, uh, it, it hides automatically. Um, and then you have copyright information there, uh, website and uh, Twitter handle uh, for your company. Uh, we also have the animate weather. Uh, we may remove this and replace it with something a little more pertinent. Um, I've got to think about that a little bit here. And every every um, quick uh, quick tangent here, these three graphics will always be the same regardless of what sport type you have. Football is the only uh, score bug that I have created so far, um, but soccer, uh, hockey, volleyball, uh, all these different sports, um, they'll all have a different type of, of graphic, kind of in the same same theme as you see, um, but um, they'll be a little more designed, a little more pertinent to those specific uh, sports. So um, on some of those, you know, all these buttons might be in use. On others, um, we there may be empty spots. So it, it just depends on what the needs of the sport are. So um, let's get to uh, a little more details on what all these animate buttons are. Um, so we have the, the, the ball spot. The football controls are, are such that um, you'll be able to select a ball spot here with that slider bar. And then you'll be able to show 
um, again, on a timed interval, I think that one's only five seconds, um, it'll show the ball spot and then it'll go back to first and 10. And then if you have a kick, uh, what you would do is you would have to uh, click the, the, the kick attempt here. It's going to ask you for to enter a number for how far back the quarterback is passing the ball to the uh, kicker. Um, and then it'll do some calculations based on the ball spot plus the end zone plus the number that you enter. Uh, and then it will come up with a number. You can animate it and it'll show it there for a couple seconds and then it'll go back to first and 10. Um, we'll also have here um, tied into line two, uh, we'll have the uh, a little visit player and home player. Um, kind of a headshot type of thing uh, not really uh, there's no image so it's not really a headshot but if you want to um, select a if you your camera guy's got a close-up of the quarterback and you want to show their name um, there uh, you can and list, line the line list two. you can put all of your players from both teams select the player and then uh, depending on what team they're on then you would uh, animate the appropriate one. And these are still a work in progress. This would also have the team color and then the team logo. Um, OK, so the, these animate buttons here, um, this is pretty cool. Uh, you're going to animate stat A. And it's going to show, uh, by means of this really cool slide on effect, uh, first downs for both teams. Um, and that information is coming from uh, this counter here and this counter here. And then we also have timeouts left. So um, we got our total yards there. And then you can animate how many timeouts are left. Um, lastly, uh, I want to talk about uh, how the score bug interacts with the toggle controls. So we got the ball possession. You see that uh, white or that gold uh, uh, dot there. Uh, so that's going to indicate ball possession. Um, and also the timeout counters uh, will be affected there. Um, you can see on the, the bug there. But then uh, if there's a flag on the play, you click that. And you notice that first and 10 box that changes to flag. Uh, and then we also have that for timeouts. Uh, and actually, uh, here if we do a, a tech timeout, it's going to show the timeout uh, indicator as well as it uh, took a timeout away from the team there. And then we have the interception. Whoops. Interception macro will change the ball possession and throw up the interception graphic. Um, and then lastly, uh, with the touchdown, uh, it, when you have a touchdown on the, on the team, that's going to throw up a, um, it's going to cover up the score bug with a uh, uh, information here with the team logos and then the mascot and the word touchdown. Um, and then uh, you make that go away and then uh, we've got that same for the, uh, the other team. And again, those colors would be dynamic based on what you put in the team tab. So um, that's what we've got. We've got a couple things to work on yet. We've got to implement uh, these bugs for the other sports. Um, we've got some other things we're still working on too, to, uh, feature-wise. Uh, I don't want to go into too much with that, but work is definitely continuing. Uh, we appreciate your patience. Uh, you know, life is life is busy for everyone, and um, it's no different for uh, for us, uh, full-time jobs, families, and, and all that. So we appreciate your patience. Uh, we don't want you to think we're getting to the point of vaporware or anything. Work's definitely continuing. Uh, it's just not going as fast as anyone would like. Um, and we we hope to have something here real soon that uh, people will be able to use and, and start bringing these awesome uh, score bug features uh, to your productions. If you have any questions, certainly... Uh, contact us, sweetcg.com. Go to our contact form page and send us an email. We'd love to hear from you. Uh, let us know what you think and uh, any ideas that you have. Thank you very much.